time. Obviously, that's still going on, but the industry eventually caught on to the fact that there are people who are willing to pay for music. And so, before too long, iTunes was born, and now we have Pandora and Spotify and all these kind of things. So, the point is, the technology and the, I suppose the culture is it's about trying to keep up with the culture. Where is it going at the moment? Where it, advertising online is moving towards, <laughs> despite the monetization and all that, and I definitely want politics taken out. How does how? But it's moving more towards less advertising. <laughs> because people will use ad blockers and I think they have the right to do that. But what if you gave people the option, the same, the same way that you gave them the option with, um, with, with the music? I, I can't remember who the band was a few years ago, but I think they were a British band, maybe you can tell me. Um, they gave away their album for free. Was it Radiohead? I'm not sure. They gave their album away for free. A Radiohead American? <laughs> I don't even know. I'll have to look that up. Um, so I don't, I don't know who it was, but they, they gave their album away for free, and then they said to people, if you want, you know, just pay us what you, what you think the album's worth. Which I think probably you'll earn more money that way. It's less likely you'll probably be pirated. Now, the difference between music and advertising is that people wanted the music and they don't want the ads. But what if there was this system in the future? So you're watching a video or you're reading a blog, you're on a website, and you get a message at some point, and it says, you know, you're halfway through the video, at the end of the video, or whatever it is, something that's not too intrusive. You just get a message that says, we noticed you, you're using an ad blocker. No biggie, you know, we're not gonna persecute you for this, which at the moment, if people use ad blockers are, you know, put on the naughty step, you know, and I don't think they should be. Um, instead, you're invited to disable it temporarily. So in other words, hit this button, it'll disable it, and you can watch an ad if you wish to support this content creator. If not, just hit no. Would you like to support this content creator? And the reason I say this is, so there's people who, who will support content creators on systems like Patreon or Minds, but there's other people who don't have the means to support people. Well, they can support a content creator for free by watching an ad and by choosing to watch the ad. Uh, if they feel that the content creator is worth it, um, all I have to do is click a button and it temporarily disables the ad blocker for that particular creator and then when the ad is over it goes back on again. Uh, so you'll see an ad, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, whatever it is, and the longer the ad is, the more, uh, and maybe it's like a tipping system almost. You get to select how long the ad you watch and the longer it is, the more uh, revenue is sent to the content creator, 10 cent, 20 cent, 30 cent, whatever it might be. It all adds up. And so, so wouldn't that be better? It doesn't cost the viewer anything.